Welcome to the Jaron Jarvis channel. I am Jaron Jarvis. Today, I would like to introduce to you, this is not a test log 2. Edward's first log. Hello Reddit. This is Edward again, if you saw my last log, then there is no need to fill you in on how I got here or how my time here has passed prior to my first log. Let me catch you up on what's happened since. I've been here for three weeks now, three weeks without people, three weeks without contact. I haven't heard anything from any of you, so I'm guessing my employers have been withholding my updates from you until they've edited them down to what they want you to know, and kept out the things they don't. Let me get on with the story. I woke up one night last week covered in sweat. I guess my AC had broke overnight. I got up to check it out but my door was locked. This was what the woman with the nice eyes was talking about. Someone was in the house dropping off my supplies for the next two weeks, and my next list of directions. I couldn't fall asleep in the heat, so I waited till the locks were disabled. He left about two hours after, I can't fathom why it would take so long to drop off groceries and a couple new movies. Anyway, I left my room to find four bags of assorted ingredients of food, and two cases of twenty water bottles. I checked the list they left me, and it had three pieces of directions for me. 1. Fix the air conditioning. 2. Watch the DVD labeled Edward Session 1. 3. Find the chest in the basement. Thank you employers, I guess I have to do all maintenance myself. First thing I did was watch the DVD. It was an interview with Isaiah Phillips, the doctor I had met upon my arrival to this facility. He was talking about my behavior, and how I was doing in his experiment. His experiment, so he is the one in charge, I would have never guessed. I always thought the woman with the nice eyes was the one calling the shots, but I guess not. I'm not going to go into detail on how long it took for me to fix the AC. I'm a software engineer, not an electrician. Let's just say I spent a lot of time with the windows cracked open, because they do not open all the way. They don't even open enough for me to stick my head through. I finally got around to looking for the chest. The basement is big, as large as the entire foundation of the house, sometimes, it even seems bigger. The first time I went down there, I was not a very brave man. The room was full of old mannequins wearing 1920s garb. Felt like Mardi Gras with an extra serving of Doctor Who. It took me a couple days to go back down there and clear them out. I took them apart and put them in these boxes I found, this was about a week before I heard about the chest. I found it behind this old couch in the corner. The chest seemed ancient, everything in the basement did, but when I brought it into the light, something peculiar came into play, the chest was locked. I looked for something to break the lock off with but there was nothing. Thinking about it, there wasn't any kind of weaponry in the house. No bats, no clubs, not even a knife. I hadn't thought about it until now, why do you think? Nevertheless, I couldn't open the chest, so I left it in the basement. A couple more days passed and nothing happened, I lived my life normally for a while. Things were quiet, too quiet. About three days ago, I was lying on the couch when a loud buzzing sound went off outside the house. I stood up to look outside my window, when I saw the woman with nice eyes walking down the street and behind her, was another man. She lead him into the house on the left, closest to me. I thought I was supposed to be the only one here for 18 months, but I could be wrong, if his house works like mine, then he won't be able to leave either. She came out about an hour afterwards, that's about how long it took her to give me the tour and the speech. She didn't even acknowledge my presence here, not a wave, nor a smile. She didn't even turn her head my way. I guess we didn't bond as much as I had thought. I didn't see the guy for a while, he kept to himself mostly, didn't go by windows or anything. He must really be embracing the isolation factor of the experiment. If his routine is anything like mine, he should be finishing his movies right about now, and just starting his first book. Time doesn't fly around here, you really start understand how lonely life is without people around week two. I bet all of you would love to live in isolation, watching movies, reading books, and not having to bother with the real world, 
But the truth is, everything stops feeling real once you start to realize life is only as real as the people in it. After a couple of days watching the house, I finally got a better look at the guy. He was short, bald, and looked like Paul Giamatti. He saw me looking his way and gave me a wave. I waved back, being the polite man I am. He seems nice, I'm at the point that I wish I could verbally say hello and that he could respond. For now, waving will have to do. After all this, I have a lot of question. Who is he? Why is he here? Is this experiment bigger than they let on? But my biggest question, what does this change? And I think I know the answer. Everything. This is the end of log 2.